is Tech Support Gone Bad, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install WordPress themes onto your WordPress website. So for those of you who don't know what WordPress is, WordPress is basically a website script that transforms your website into a blogging type of website. And yes, I do have a separate video on how to install WordPress onto your website, so go ahead and check that out before you watch this video because obviously you need to have WordPress installed in order for you to be able to use WordPress themes. So the link to the video will be in the video description slash sidebar. Click more info, click the link, and watch that video before you watch this one. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, what you want to do is obviously search for WordPress themes. A simple Google search searching WordPress themes will do. The first website you'll find is wordpress.org slash extent slash themes. And that's the official WordPress themes website. And you'll find tons of other websites that um, offer both free and premium WordPress themes. So you can go ahead and check that out also just to give you uh, more options on WordPress themes. And also, I'll have a couple of these links in the video description for you guys to use. And if you want to find more websites, just go ahead and do a simple Google search on it. So once you find your theme, go ahead and save the theme and make sure to save it as a .zip file. Don't open it up and extract it into a normal folder. You don't want that. You want it to be compressed into a .zip file. Now if you accidentally did change it and extract it and it is now a normal folder, go ahead and right click on it hover over send to and click compress zip folder that'll compress the folder and it'll have it into a .zip folder for you to upload it to WordPress so once you have it as .zip folder now it's ready to upload to WordPress so you want to head into your dashboard for your WordPress blog your dashboard should look pretty much almost exactly like this and once you're signed into your dashboard just go ahead and click on appearance once you click on appearance go ahead and click add new themes and then click on upload now this is going to show you the wordpress um, theme uploader or the wordpress upload form and it says install a theme in .zip format so as i stressed before you need to have it as a .zip format or else it won't work so click browse find your theme and upload it click install now and just give it a second over here shouldn't take too long and there you go unpacking the package installing the theme theme installed successfully now for some reason I do have two warnings over here but it shouldn't matter as long as it says theme installed successfully if it for some reason it doesn't say theme installed successfully it says anything other than that error theme not installed successfully anything other than theme installed successfully then you're pretty much out of luck you can't um, you can't do anything to fix it really you're just gonna have to go ahead and find another theme and try to upload that one so once it says theme install successfully you go ahead and click activate and give it a second and I'm just gonna go ahead and click activate again and there you go the theme is just activated just like that and my website now has that theme on it so let's go ahead and take a look at my website and just like that the theme is uploaded now this looks much better than the default um, the WordPress theme let's look at it the default theme this is the default WordPress theme as you can see it's not really that good looking of a theme no friends WordPress but you do need to work on your default theme but the good thing is that you could upload custom themes like this one and make it look better so it's really as simple as that just go ahead and upload your custom theme and you're done that's it and all you have to do is just put new posts new pages and all that stuff and just develop the website and the theme even more and that is pretty much it that's it for this tutorial and uh, thank you guys for watching if you did like the tutorial please check out my website or my youtube channel uh, over at techsportcombat.com that will redirect you to my youtube channel and go ahead and subscribe to my videos if you like them and also please check out my website over at octogeek.com that's my own wordpress blog it's a graphic designing blog and you'll find tons of inspiration tutorials and sometimes even some giveaways on that website so that's it for today Thank you guys for watching this video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.